Hey, good morning. Welcome to 105 Minute Meals from beautiful, sunny Costa Rica. Uh, of course, this is a rainy season, so it's only sunny in the morning. It rains in the afternoon, which uh, works out great for a little afternoon nap. So I have a little extra time on my hand uh, this morning. I uh, got my bike ride in yesterday, uh, so I'm going to make up a curry. Uh, this time I'm going to use shrimp. We made a chicken curry before. I'm going to make a shrimp curry, have some friends over for dinner, and um, let's get started. So I'm going to, this time I'm using not the Instant Pot, I'm using uh, just a standard soup pot. Let's see if we can get that to come out. There we go. Okay. And uh, I'm going to... Mince up some garlic. That works great. Okay, let's put, in, let's put in our spices. This is turmeric. Purportedly has a lot of health benefits. Very tasty and it makes the famous yellow curry that you can get in Indian or Thai restaurants. This is a curry powder. It's got turmeric and it's got a few other uh, ingredients in it. Um, salt, dehydrated onion. Hmm. Okay. Let's put a little bit of that in. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Some dried basil. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning. I didn't get out my cayenne pepper. Uh. We're going to have guests, so we don't know how hot they like it, so we're just going to spice it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stir that up. My uh, coconut milk has been up in the cabinet for a while, so it's got solidified on part of it. Separated some. That will all come out when we start to heat it. Okay, so there is the base of my curry. I'm going to add some onions, lots of onions. This is a, a little bit bigger curry. This is 15 quart pot. I'm not going to make 15 quarts worth, but more than we put in the Instant Pot. So a little bit more of some of these ingredients. Now remember when you're working with your knife, which you've sharpened beforehand, to move this Turn that blade away from your fingers. Okay, onions. Let's put that away. We're going to do some 
spinach. Uh, I'm going to cut that just a little bit. Add some more. Okay, spinach. And I've got some Chinese cabbage. Very delicious. I'm going to wash these off. Got a carrot. And a very good peeler. I got some new peelers when I was back in the States. These are OXOs. O-X-O. I got it on Amazon. You got a set of three. Very cheap. Wonderful tool to have in the kitchen. Okay, using the back of my knife to wipe, move things off of the uh, cutting board so that I don't dull my knife. Okay, get some bell pepper. In Cajun cooking, bell pepper, onion, and celery are called the Holy Trinity. They're used to uh, flavor soups, gum you know, gumbos, etouffees. Okay, I'm going to put in some ginger in this one. In the ginger. Dice it up a little. Could have put this in the food processor also, but I think this will work just fine. Okay, we're keeping the ingredients simple in this uh, curry. I'm now going to put this on the stove uh, on low, let it uh, heat for a while, stir it a few times. And when it's ready, I'll come back and add the shrimp before uh, I'm ready to serve. Oh, so I've decided to do a little pickup on this. I wanted to add a little extra flavor, but I don't want to add stock because I don't want my curry to be too liquid. So instead, I'm just going to take a spoon of uh, Better Call Bouillon and add it directly to the curry that I'm making, the Chinese cabbage and the spinach. They're going to uh, water out as they cook down. 
and that's as liquid as I want the curry to get. On low heat, and that should do it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, as I told you this morning, we're in the rainy season. It was beautiful, sunny, clear this morning. It's raining heavy right now. You can probably hear it. Um, so uh, I have some friends coming over uh, for curry with shrimp, shrimp curry. Uh, I'm going to make some rice. I don't eat a lot of rice. Uh, in fact, I had to go out and buy this bag. I can't really find brown rice here in Costa Rica, but uh, this one claims to be 99% entero or 99% whole rice. So we're going to believe them and do it. There's a lot of different ways to cook rice. Uh, easiest to probably get a rice cooker. Um, there's uh, electric rice cookers you put on the counter. Uh, there's rice cookers for the microwave, which is what my dad used. But since I don't cook rice very often, uh, I didn't buy any of those things. And I'm going to cook rice the way my Cajun grandmother from Franklin, Louisiana, taught me many years ago. It's very easy. Uh, works every time for me. I don't measure anything. I'm just going to pour some rice in my pan. Okay, that ought to be plenty for me and my guests and maybe a little left over. I'm going to level it out. And then I'm going to pour water in. Level it out some more. I'm going to pour water in. Until I get one finger length, one piece of my finger to the first knuckle, water above the rice. I'm going to add some oil. Grandma used to put in a couple of pats of butter. Um, and I, I don't mind using uh, this olive oil, which is, you know, it's a good olive oil. got a lot of taste to it. To me, rice is kind of bland, so adding a little flavor doesn't hurt anything. I'm just going to put the lid on. She used to also add salt. Um, as I've spoken before, I don't add salt to my cooking. I add salt at the table so that I control how much I'm, I'm eating. So I'm just going to put this on the stove and bring it to a boil. And once it's brought to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to low and I'm going to let it go for about 40 minutes, 30, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on whether it's white rice or brown rice. And I'll check it at about 30, 35 minutes to see how it's doing. Making sure I have the right burner on. Okay, we'll check back in in a little while. So now uh, the rice has come to a full boil. Uh, I've uh, lowered the temperature down to low. Um, and I'm going to uh, put the top on it and let it sit for about a half an hour and uh, check it. Should be good by then. So my guests should be here any minute. They just live a little ways down the mountain from me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp now. Um, I was not able to get fresh shrimp again at the farmer's market. So this is some farm shrimp from uh, Price Mart, which is our Costco. I'm gonna pour these in, including the juice that's around the shrimp, should add additional flavor. I'm just gonna put the entire bag in there. Stir it up. Put the lid back on. And really, that should be ready within 10 minutes. Okay, I thought I'd uh, give you a little view of my backyard while it's raining. Uh, we'll have to do this again sometime when it's bright and clear which is just about every morning in the rainy season and every morning in the dry season too. Okay, so my guest should be here any minute. I'm just gonna cut up some tomato and avocado. Um, I'm out of lettuce. Uh, I thought they might bring some uh, because they grow it. 
I got a nice little garden, but it was raining so hard, I think they decided not to harvest. So I'm just going to put some of this tomato. And these tomatoes in Costa Rica that I get from the farmer's market just, you know, taste so good. Full flavored tomatoes. And we're going to just go around the avocado. Twist. Beautiful, eh? And take a spoon. We'll just spoon it out. And if we want more, only take a minute to uh, cut up some more tomato and do the other half of the avocado. We'll see how the appetites are. Okay. And uh, I don't have any store-bought um, salad dressing right now. So instead, I have, probably need to add a little more vinegar to this, but I have some very good olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. Uh, put that on the table. Go ahead and add some more balsamic vinegar to this handy blown glass server that I got on a cruise in uh, Europe. Uh, I think we were still in Germany when this glass blower came aboard. And uh, Made some of these right in front of us. Really amazing. Wonderful artwork. Okay, and now we're just waiting for the guests to show. So the guests are here. My dogs seem to think that anybody who comes to the house has come specifically to visit them and play with them. Let's open the door. Aha. Uh -huh. And it quit raining. Everybody. Mostly. Hey, what's up? Come on, you two. Come on. Okay, come back here. Come on, let's get a treat. Welcome. Come on in, close the door behind you. Yeah, my crazy dogs. How are you, sir? I'm good. So as it turns out, uh, the rain slowed down and they went out and got some salad fixings out of the garden. And we're going to have some really, a really beautiful salad with the shrimp curry. All right, so my friend Curtis, who used to be a professional photographer in the United States, has taken a hand shooting for me. We're going to put some rice on the plates and always add more. to Jennifer. Wow, that looks yummy. Mm, I hope so. I love it. Okay. And a little more. And another plate that we can just bring over to the table in a second. Look at that, I don't even have to tell Curtis what to do. Okay, and let's 
Let's have dinner. Mr. Curtis. And mine. Dinner for, uh, you know, I don't cook with salt. And I've mentioned this to my viewers multiple times because I feel like I can control the amount of salt that I'm eating better by adding it at the table. So you might want to try a little bit of salt on there and then tell me what it tastes like. Mmm, yummy. Happy food.